Looking for articles about engineering topics? Check out EI Compendix. EI Compendix is on the Engineering Village platform, so you can find it under both EI Compendix or Engineering Village. I'll put in my search terms, and you'll notice that EI Compendix offers me a suggestion of a more recommended term using this auto-suggest. Auto-suggest gives subject terms, and these make it a little easier to find articles, so I'm going to take their suggestion and click on it, doing my search on building materials. Building materials is still pretty broad, so I have the option of limiting it further. I'll go ahead and limit it to journal articles, as those are most easily found, and to English language articles. I'll bring the date up a little closer, and hit search. So I did limit it somewhat, but I still have over 60,000 articles, so I need to limit it some more. A great way to limit is to add further terms. So under Refine Results, I can go ahead and add a term. If I don't know what term I want, I can use some ideas from EI Compendix's Control Vocabulary, another name for subject terms. By looking at these, I can get an idea of what kind of subjects all the various articles have. In this case, I think I'm going to look at Mechanical Properties. I'll limit it to that, and you'll notice I did get less articles, but still quite a few. So I'm going to continue to limit it some more by adding more terms. Uh, ceramic materials this time. That's got me to about 131 articles. That's still a lot, but I think at this point I want to look and see what kind of results I've gotten. Scanning the articles on the first screen is a great way of deciding if your research is giving you re relevant information. So I find something that frankly looks interesting to me, microstructure and mechanical properties. By clicking on the title, I can see what kind of words were used, what kind of control terms, what kind of subject terms, to see if these are the kind of things I'm looking for. They also have what are called uncontrolled terms. These are terms that are given by the authors, but since they don't transfer from one article to the other, they can be not as useful. Anytime you click on one of these links, you can start a new search using that subject term. Should I decide that I want this particular article, I can click on Find It. EI Compendix is a really great index database, but it only indexes the records of these articles. It does not have any full text. To find full text, click on Find It, and that takes, us to, uh, takes you to our catalog, which will tell you if we have it. In this case, we do have full text available through our Elsevier journal package. We also, if you click on Get It, have it in print at the library. If I were to do another article, say the next one, under Find It, you can see that this one does not have any full text available, nor do we have anything under Print. However, in both cases, there is a link for you to request this article. Interlibrary Loan is a really great way of finding material that the library doesn't have, and I urge you to take advantage of it. This has been a quick review of EI Compendix. Should you have any further questions, please contact me.